you may have seen some new signs out in front of our school. These signs won't be out all year, but they will be this week to help remind you of new rules when being dropped off or picked up from school. This is the no drop off or pick up area. If you see these signs out your window, you are not to get in or out of your car until after you have passed the first crosswalk. This helps avoid backup of vehicles behind you. Also, please remember that you only enter or exit your car on the sidewalk side. All right, let's watch this example. Let's see if these students remember the rules. It looks like we've got someone coming to school in the morning, but this car, oh, it looks like they're stopping in the no drop off or pick up zone. Should they be doing that? No, they should not. Students, remember, now is not the time to get out of the car. Remember, you only get out of the car in the drop off or pick up zone past this first crosswalk. Thank you for remembering the rules, pulling past the crosswalk before getting out of the car. And thanks for remembering to get out of the car on the sidewalk side. Excellent job, my students of service. Let's give them a hand for a job well done. And we need your help reminding your parents not to stop their car in the crosswalk. When they do, we cannot cross students. You've seen these yellow and black signs. These are to remind your parents that they must always continue to pull forward. We want to close any gaps between cars. Again, this helps avoid backup of vehicles behind you as well as keeps our traffic flowing smoothly. Another very, very important reminder is that the driver of the car must always stay in the car. If your parent wants to get out of the car to come find you, they must park in a parking spot. All right, these green signs are your sign that you are in the drop off and pick up zone. You may get in or out of your car when you see these signs out your window. Now, if you're getting picked up after school, please wait on the grass in the long grassy area from the office windows all the way back down to the big trees. All right, let's talk about some wheel safety. It's very important to walk your wheels when you are on school property. Please do not ride your bike or scooter on school grounds. And when you walk your wheels, never ever walk them into the line of cars. Look at these great kids showing us the right way to walk our wheels. Thanks guys. Another reminder is not to run out in front of the building when you're getting dropped off or picked up. It's just not safe and we'd hate to have anyone fall and get hurt. After school, we have a lot of cars that park in this parking lot to pick up students. Students, we need to be very careful that we do not cross until our crossing guard crosses us. There are lots of cars and we don't want to see anyone get hit. So you will stand and wait for our crossing guard to safely cross you. We appreciate all of our students who listen to our crossing guards and our students of service and help follow all of the school rules to keep everyone safe. Thank you everyone and have a great day. Welcome to Cottonwood. We are the best elementary school because all students and adults follow the school rules. By following rules, we all stay happy and safe in school. Please talk to any teacher if you need help understanding any of our school rules and expectations. Let's learn more about the rules and expectations here at Cottonwood Elementary. When coming to PE, please come in and take a seat where you are instructed as quickly as possible. These teachers are doing a fantastic job 
modeling for us appropriate behavior when to come in. Way to go, teachers. When participating in PE activities, please always do your best and show great sportsmanship. Be sure to cheer each other on and be a great team player. Nice job. When you are participating, if any injuries occur, be sure to quickly let the teacher know so that we can get you the help you need. Thanks for supporting. When class ends, listen to the teacher and then quickly and quietly line up with your class. Be sure to keep personal space between you and your neighbors and follow Kai Foodi. We hope you have fun in PE this year. for an assembly, you want to make sure that you're keeping your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself, following Kaifudi. You want to make sure you're keeping your personal space and facing forward. When you get to where your class is going to sit, you are going to sit crisscross applesauce facing forward. While waiting for everyone to enter the assembly, we will stay sitting crisscross applesauce and having our voices off so that we can get everyone in here to get started. Once the assembly has started, we will make sure that we are listening with our ears, looking with our eyes, and respectfully following the person in charge, the presenter. We're gonna make sure that we stay on our pockets and do not get up on our knees and give them our very best condor listening positions. When the assembly is over, please applaud appropriately. <laughs> Notice how they are not cheering or shouting, but just clapping with their hands. When the assembly is over, please turn and look at your teacher and they will give you instructions on when to stand up. When you stand up, your voice will stay off and your teacher will lead you out into the hallway back to your classroom. Notice how they are not touching each other, not talking to others and following their teacher's instructions. Library, please use Kai Foodie and walk only. Wait for Miss Thane to scan your book and then you can go line up or prepare your next book so you can sit at the tables. For books, please be respectful. Take care of all your materials, touch only your assigned belongings, whisper appropriate voices, and be a good listener. Responsible. Follow all of the librarian's instructions. Find a book check it out, and then read at your table. Of library, please wait for your instructions to stand up and then line up at the door. follow Kai Foodie and be able to see the duty at all times. When it's time to play, be sure that you include others and let's not leave anyone out. Be sure to show good sportsmanship and follow directions on the playground. Make sure you listen to the duty at all times. When on the playground, please use the equipment as intended and follow the playground rules. 
pick up any garbage that you see on the playground and help keep our playground clean. Use the garbages outside to throw away any garbage that you find. When the bell rings, be sure to quickly gather all of your equipment and line up in your grade level line as quickly as you can and wait quietly for your teacher. When it is time to go in, follow your teacher and make sure you take out any equipment that you brought out. Thanks, Condors. go in to use the restroom, please make sure you ask your teacher for permission first. When you come into the restroom, please make sure that you go into a stall and take care of your own business. You should not be peeking up or over any of the stalls. When you have finished with your business, go ahead and flush the toilet to make sure everything's gone. And then come out and wash your hands in the sink. Make sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds before with soap and water before going and drying your hands with a paper towel make sure you get the paper towel into the garbage after you go and after you dry off your hands remember condors we always want to leave the bathroom looking better than what we found it make sure that when we're in the bathroom that we're not staying in here and hanging out that's kind of gross you want to just take care of your business not hang out with your friends and head on right back out to class or recess time to walk down the hall please make sure that you are following your teacher's directions we should be walking single file down the hallway not stopping or touching any art that is on the walls make sure that you are walking right behind the person in front of you making sure that you follow kai Fudi, keeping your hands feet and other objects to yourself when you get to your destination you will stop and make sure that you follow your teacher's instructions cafeteria all students will enter through these doors be sure to grab a milk and then a lunch after you go through the line you will stop here with miss Julie and turn in your lunch card you will then go and sit at your assigned classroom table you are welcome to sit next to friends who are in your class at your class tables you will notice that in the cafeteria we have an extra timetable if it is time for your class to leave and you're not finished, no worries. You'll gather up your lunch and come and sit at the extra timetable to finish. Students that have a nut allergy are to sit at this table. You're welcome to have one friend from your class sit with you as long as they don't have nuts in their lunch. Your teacher will bring your class to the lunchroom. Please line up before coming down with students that have a lunch from home at the front of the line and students purchasing a lunch from the cafeteria at the end of the line. Students from a lunch from home will enter first and walk to their table. If you run, you will be asked to try again. If you have a lunch from home and you're buying the milk, be sure to grab it on your way in and then stop and give Miss Julie your first and last name and who your teacher is. After that, you may go to your table. If you are purchasing a lunch from the school, as you enter the cafeteria, your teacher will hand you a lunch card. This card has your name on it. You will take a milk and go to the counter and look at the options for lunch, remembering that the one you touch is the one you take. You will also stop and take silverware if you need it. 
If you drop some, it's okay. Just pick it up and throw it away. All students purchasing a lunch must stop at the nutrition station. The nutrition station will be full of yummy fruits and vegetables. You will pick a few fruits and veggies and then head to see Miss Julie. When you get to Miss Julie, you will hand her your card and tell her your first and last name, and then you may go sit with the rest of the class at your table. Make sure you always carry your lunch with two hands. When you are eating at the table, remember to keep your voices down so that everyone can enjoy their time in the cafeteria and it doesn't become too noisy. Also remember, we never share food. If you happen to have a problem opening something, please raise your hand and someone will come and help you open your item. Also, please remember not to get up out of your seat unless you raise your hand and get permission. Can you imagine a hundred students or more up and moving about in the cafeteria all at once? It's a recipe for disaster. If someone needs to use the restroom, please raise your hand and ask if you can go. When you do leave to go, you leave through the back doors of the cafeteria and use the upper hall restrooms and then come right back to your spot. Remember, we keep the area cleaner than we found it. We wanna make sure we keep the cafeteria as clean and neat as we possibly can to help out our amazing custodian. If you do not leave your place cleaned up, you may be called in from recess to clean it up and that would be no fun, right? When it is time to dismiss, an adult will come and check your table. This is when it's time for you to get up and go throw your items away. I remember, don't get up until you've been dismissed. Once you are dismissed, please clean up all of your things and walk to the back containers. These containers are for you to dump any liquids in. Be sure to keep them low to prevent splashing and making a mess. Throw items in the garbage can and then head out to recess. If you have a school lunch, you'll throw all items away except that red basket. The red basket comes to the back table and then you can head out to recess. Have fun, condors! Students that don't purchase milk are welcome to get water. Please remember that it is one cup per student. You will fill it here in the orange container. Again, raise your hand if you need to get up and get water to help keep our cafeteria organized and running efficiently. Thanks, condors. Happy lunch. down to the office at any point in time you need to make sure that you have your lanyard from your teacher this lets the office know that you have permission to be down here during the school day when you arrive in the office please wait right over here by the door for one of our lovely secretaries to ask you what they can help you with they will then help you with whatever you need make sure that you always treat our secretaries with respect make sure that you're always staying behind this area and not going past these gates library time with Miss Jill. I have missed you. I hope you have all had a wonderful summer. I can't wait to see you again here in the library. See you later. Bye. Welcome back to another school year. This is Mrs. Lucas 
here to talk about condor coops this year. We've got some that look a little bit different than last year's, but they're still earned for being safe, responsible, and respectful, our three school rules. When you earn eight coops, you will come down on your last recess this year, not first recess like last year, but our last recess on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you will come with your eight condor coops, these condor coops need to be filled all the way out, my little condors. They need to have your first and last name, your grade level, and the school rule you were following when you earned them. When you have eight, bring them on down, last recess, and I will stamp them. You will put them in your grade level box. And I will give you a token for the treasure tower. Now, at the end of every week, I will pick three winners from each grade level, and those winners will get their coops up on our big bingo board, which also looks a little bit different this year, but it's the same. When you get a bingo, all of those condor coops in that row, all of those students will win a fun 200 club party. <laughs>
special 